Okay, so we're back here and we're in Blender. It's all opened up and stuff. And um, what we're going to do is, hang on, press this and enable that layer. So when you open up your dev kit, it should look like this. It should just be a skeleton here and it should not be selected. It should be like this. And what we need to do is put a bunny on the skeleton so we can start making clothes for it. So I want you to turn your attention over to the right side of your screen, which I'll make it really big right here. And you want to look and see which one you want on the skeleton. They're labeled, but apparently they're labeled wrong. See, I have a big breasted digi grade female. So the large breast digi avatar, when you go and check the eye and open it, gives me a small breasted digi grade one. So um, just choose this thing is small breast digi is actually the big breast. So just click on the eye until you get the bunny that you want to work with. So once you have your bunny in here, we're going to actually need to turn it because um, this was previously a Maya rig and it was converted into a blender rig uh, to be used here. Um, because of that, it's actually really big and facing the wrong direction. Uh, it still functions properly, so you can uh, leave clothes. Let me see, what's the best way I can say it? Although it's facing the wrong way, it still functions in Second Life. So when you make the clothes and we turn it all, it's all going to work. It's just facing the wrong way to, for Marvelous Designer. I think if we were to import the model as is, it'll be facing this way instead of this way. So we need to turn it so we can make clothes and then we'll rotate our clothes back. Make sense? Okay, so what we're going to do is... Actually, hold on for one second. Okay, sorry about that sneeze really badly. So, um, what was I saying? It's turned the wrong way, and we're going to rotate it so that it's the right way, and then we're going to make our clothes, and then we're going to turn it back to where it was. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to press um, R, or we're going to press, click on the, the bones. The bones are easy because it rotates everything rather than just rotating the model. So what we're going to do is click on the bones. Then we're going to press R, then Z, and then 90. No, wait, wrong way. R, Z, negative 90. There we go. And now it's facing the right direction for us to work with in it in Marvelous Designer. So now that we have it facing the right direction, we're just going to export it out. And we're going to click on uh, the body, just the body, not the bones. And we're going to go File, Export, Wavefront, OBJ. And I'm going to make sure I'm in the right folder, B Frost Bunnies. And we're going to name this Big Breast Female Bunny Digi Legs. <laughs> no spaces. That was quite the name. And then before we export, we're going to just scroll down on the side. And we're going to check this box that says Selection Only. Now what you want them to do is you can actually save this by pressing this little plus button right here. And then you can name it whatever, like Marvelous uh, Dummies. And hit OK. And now, as you can see, I did this for a couple tutorials. You can just click this uh, operator presets right here and it's saved. That way you know you definitely have all your settings checked. So, um that's selected this is named and we're just going to hit export and now we're going to go over into marvelous designer now i know normally people were watching this and like i already seen what you've done in marvelous designer i took the classes before you do the same thing well there's something we're going to have to do different for these uh bunnies because um they're huge <laughs> um so i'll see you guys in marvelous designer and we'll go and import our avatar so see you next video